let's see his special attack. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, he gets a reactivation? Absolutely. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam. This is HMO4 Gaming. Welcome you back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 in the last episode. Well, we did some odds and ends there, a lot of cutscenes. We took down another Pharaonis. Well, I shouldn't say we took down. We took down this Pharaonis, but we also put, uh, I guess, a giant Hulk. I forget what it's called. In the desert, we took out a bunch of alligators and a bunch of flying monsters and got some more supplies. And we saw a bunch of cutscenes, and we're really worried about uh, N, who uh, kind of looks like evil Noah, but, you know, I guess we'll get to that in time. In this episode, we're going to look around Colony Lambda. It's the new colony that now is populated and everyone's woken up. And we can uh, get some side quests from here. And if you're excited for that, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. We're also going to be looking into getting some more heroes if you're also down for that. Because uh, there's two in particular, technically three that we can get. Missing Offseer. Oh, I wasn't even listening to what they were saying. <laughs> Living in times with no flame clock. Crazy, huh? I'll bet that puts a spanner in the works of quite a few plans. Sorry, I guess that's on us. No, don't apologize. You weren't wrong to do what you did. It wasn't a mistake. I'm just a little bit stumped about what I should do about it all. We made some new friends. We love Kojo. Or Koji. Whoever it is. Are we with Commander... To where we fought with Lambda? Yeah. The commander is leading us to Colony Lambda have firm against whoever dares to stand against us. But with the situation as it is in now, how is it going to lead us through it? Are we both of our offseers away at the same time? Looks like it's just where could they have gone. We'll get to there, we'll get to there. We gotta get all the thing. Ugh, it's so inconvenient not having a proper canteen. Just how snuffing long are we going to have to go without one? Colony Lambda's Canteen, new topic available. Whitby, hello Whitby. Over here. It really is a good thing that the colony made it to the best here. Oh yeah, what'd you say that? Well, it's a great position for defense for one. It shows the tunnels too. We can't use the Pharaonis, but I expect there's still plenty of things we'll be able to manage around here. We made some new friends. I love making friends. Where'd the other guy go? Hello, Ross. Hello, dude. No, I need to talk to you. Say, what kind of person would you say Isert is? Uh, you want to know about the commander, do you? Our commander's one of the most exceptional healers in Agnes. His attacks are nothing to be sniffed at either. When his team needs no more attention, he'll switch to offense and pull everyone out of dire strats with his talent art. It's not even often we get the fight by his side given his role as leader. But when he does step in, it's a real sight to behold. We've made some new friends. I love making friends. And didn't forget this side quest over here. You know what's odd? The flame clock isn't here anymore, but I still have my mark. There's a lot of us in our 10th term now, Commander Isser included. There isn't a lot of time left to consider what has to be huh? done. Inevitable mark. All right. Hey, did you guys hear something? Time for a nice big breakfast. Uh, well, we still have to fix the um, canteen first, apparently. Could you help me out here? Open the door, girls. Here we go. <sighs> All right. And as always, I have to have a cutscene to open the Let's door. Just sneak a peek. It's good for presentation, but you know, first couple tries kind of gets over everything. So. I appreciate it as we're just walking around. I appreciate everyone checking out the Let's Play on the channel. Love Xenoblade, and hopefully we'll finish it this century. <laughs> it's a long-ass game. Tolgrim! The commander was one who pushed to get the auto levas deployed. They have been pivotal to our defense, but we don't have many left standing now. With that thing as they are, I don't think we have much chance of getting more from our usual supplier. We made some new friends. And I'm sure we'll do some fun stuff with them. Who else we got? Commissary, what do you got? Anything I you need? I, I don't know, I have all the money in the world. What do we want? Increase critical hit ratio by 10? 
Boost damage dealt when attacking launched enemies. Boost aggro generated from auto attacks. Reduce aggro from auto attacks. Boost amount of HP healed from using healing arts by 15%. Yeah, we're gonna buy some of those. Boost damage dealt when attacking dazed enemies. Eh, I do like the reduce. Might as well just buy a bunch. Boost damage dealt when attack launch. Eh, we don't have that many. We might as well buy a bunch of uh, crits. I know I just wasted a ton of money. But the way we like to explore and stuff, we find enough money. I'll switch around our uh, stuff as we get to it. Didn't I see another side quest somewhere? Oh, it's up here. Is this Commander Izzard up here? Has a search party been sent out to look for Shimija? See Jimia. Well, I can't say my squad hasn't heard anything about it, that's for sure. Missing Offseers. Oh, that's the second part of it. Okay. What else do we have around here? Anybody? There's that random guy I need to talk to. Where's Commander Izzard at? Does he ha Oh, he has his own hero quest, it looks like. Oh, well, <laughs> we're going to be uh, doing a bunch of uh, quests. What's wrong, Commander? I didn't know he had his own. Hmm. Oh, I guess I shouldn't be too uh, surprised about that. The Ferranus was heavily damaged during the battle. Do you remember? As a result, some of our remote-administrated autolevs aren't responding to transmitted instructions. I'm not 100% on the techno babble, but that doesn't sound good. Indeed. I've sent some of our tech guys over, so we'll know soon enough. Do you really need the machines? Are you thinking there might be another battle? It's nothing like that, I assure you. Colony Lambda is now focused on ether mining, and... Attacks. What? What was that? Dude, that guy teleported in. Tunnel collapse. Oh, he'll tell him, Grim, I just what? talked to you. I'll be there ASAP. Are the troops assembled? He said that really weird. I'll be there ASAP. They're all in position. Then go on ahead. Sorry about this, after you took the trouble to come all the way here. Commander, please let us lend a hand. Only if you're sure. But your help will be welcome. Yeah, man, that's what we do. We gotta help all the colonies out. Roger that. This sort has temporarily joined the party. Oh, okay, yeah, he's gonna join us. And he's a healer. Let's hurry into the tunnels. All right, but first I gotta check you out, bro. Okay, you're a healer. You're rank 10. What are your arts? Uh, I need to look at your arts, bro. Auto build, build, display stats. Oh, right there. Derp. All right, what do you got? Uh, range and flex medium, debuff, regeneration, auto attack, recharge. Heals nearby allies with arts hit to a maximum 100% of healing power. Alright. Physical attack. Soul fire. Heals all allies with arts hit to a maximum 150% of healing powers. Bruh, he's broken. Moon shadow. Ether attack. No one love. No love lost. Alright, that power multiplier. Alright, we'll go with him for a little bit. I can't really... He's got boost healing arts and ignores 50% of ether defense when landing a hit. Alright, I can't change his stuff. Alright, but he is level what? He, oh, he, well, obviously he's a hero, so he just goes off of our own health as it is. Alright, that's pretty cool. Well, while we have Commander Izzard here, do I have a place to discuss? Oh, we, oh yeah, we do. It's at the front gate. Well, while he's here with us, I guess we can discuss everything. That's pretty cool. Hey, Sif. Sif, I guess. You're looking busy. The commander was good enough to tell us about the work we have ahead of us. Gotta do what we gotta do. Hey, it's good to look to the future. Things are really looking up from our auto levesse and resources from the tunnel. Colony Lambda has never been stronger. We made some new friends. I don't know about that, dude. I'm about to go find out what else is going on. And trust me, you gotta make sure you talk to everybody that has a little star. Are you heading for Kaves Castle? If so, you want to ascend the Great Falls and then cut through Mikatha World War. We've made some new friends. Thanks, dude. Ooh, also, I gotta get this set over here. Mining level three. Let's I wonder where that me. is. Have we gone to any of the mi- Oh! We have. That's all the way over there. Alright, well, before we do that, 
Am I able to discuss, or am I just locked in? I think I don't think I'm locked in. All right, let's get all the side quests possibly, so I don't have to worry about um, you know maybe doing baggage. things all at once. Do discuss. You have any snacks? All right, what do we got? Missing offseers. Shall we put our heads together on this? So Lambda's offseer Shijima has apparently gone missing. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Agnes Offseer is often work in pairs, right? Yes, I think most Agnian colonies make a similar arrangement. Are you both of them missing then? All have heard that one name, Sujima, is heading into the tunnels. By now he might have come out at the Raybel Talans in the Faranus region. Something might have happened to make him wander off like that. We should look for him. Then we best hurry. The longer we wait, the more difficult it is to search likely be. Alright. At least now we have that. Indelible mark. Everyone, a moment of your time? It looks like our mark doesn't disappear even after the flame clocks are smashed. Yeah, we're the only freed from the tyranny of the free clocks. It's true. A mark once made cannot be erased. And once my tenth term ends, I'll be gone. After all, it's not all doom and glue, though, yeah? Bring free from the clocks, that's already something. Things feel different somehow. I know what you mean. It feels less anxious, like I can breathe a little easier. Exactly. And ultimately, everyone has to choose their own actions for themselves. Freedom from the flame clocks expand one's opinion immeasurably. I think that's huge. Yeah, everyone's gotta die sometime. At least this is the way they gotta live the good life first. A good life? What do you understand by that? Huh? Well, I mean, like, eating good grub and stuff, yeah? I don't know what to expect asking you. Oh, you got a problem. Ah, uh, the good life, though. I'd go for a bit of that. Yeah, me too. Oh, are we just literally just talking about it and get 100 HP? Fine. Colony <laughs> Lambda's ta canteen? Let's have a little huddle. We just get all the story quests. I hear Colony Lambda's having a difficult time now that they can use the canteen. Yeah, we did kind of tear up the place. Hmm, but if there's anything we can do... We could cut them up something, them. <laughs> That's only going to help them in the short term. Then what? Do we tell them you want to build them a whole new canteen? That's a surprising, reasonable idea, Lance. Oh well, I'll be cobble one together, shall I? We couldn't do the label ourselves, but Lambda's a big colony. It couldn't hurt to float the idea. I imagine talking to the captain of the manufacturing unit would be a good place to start. Sounds like a plan. Let's get going. Yeah, the sooner this gets resolved, the better. Alright, and now we have Lambda's problems. And we should have one more. Keeping clean. Everyone, a moment of your time? Phew. Man, there's nothing better than kicking back and taking a load off. Getting my kid all nice and clean. Best feel in the world, bar none. I totally agree, all the filth we picked up on the road really wears you down. Especially the sandstorm in the Danaga Desert. They're just too much. Yeah, that's all stuff doesn't bother me one bit. Riku also unbothered. No way, really? No pun, not big on bats to begin with. I guess that trucks, but Riku and Manana still always look pretty clean, though. Riku maintains strict standards of hygiene, in good manner in polite society. Indeed, Doodles, is question of etiquette. That said, some Nopon can go a whole week without that. Eh? Yeah, that's just Mingin. Riku noted that Lants also only take back to properly one time in a week. No! Oi, don't lie about me, furball. I said it doesn't bother me, not that I've never bathed the cheeks. <laughs> Alright, some of those are pretty good. Alright, let's head out. Right then, should we get a move on? Alright, so we have a bunch of those taken care of. Um, I think we're going to do this hero quest first. Alright, so this is a long way away. we got to go up and around into the mine, so I'll meet you in there. The upper level of the Great Falls, huh? Could we get there by clambering up Colony Lambda? Maybe you and Senna could. As we get some nice flavor text as we make our way into the mine. Still got a little ways though, so 
again. We'll meet you there. Is this like a rare thing? Mm. Wait for a moment. Using that device should allow us to proceed. Um, like this? Okay. Of course. Oh. <gasps> Didn't want to do that. As we fall down the stairs. All right, so now we have an open path back. I also just wanted to point out as we'll, we might as well just talk the entire time as we make our way back to the mine. Like, we're 37 right now. The main quest, uh, main objective level recommendation is 27. So we're 10 levels above that. So I'm not really too sure if we're over-leveled or under-leveled. But then we get areas like this. That this is probably another hero right here, possibly. Or something to do with, um, Agnian people. But they're all level 40. There's a bunch of those. There's a way back in the first, I think, earlier episodes, there was the a lady that uh, we came across after we, we got Zeon liberated, the but they were also level 40. So a lot of things open up once we get to level 40, and we have a the lot of... Yeah, thank you, uh, dude. We have a lot of hero quests and a lot of stuff to do once we reach level f in the into the 40s. I also saw the like M boss is like level 50, 60, so we might be super overpowered by the time we get there, but that's fine. We're over here doing as much as we can. I do a lot of stuff in between episodes, oh, so that. that's why I'm filling you in if you're wondering how I'm getting all these extra levels and equipment. It's just literally just me walking around, getting containers, playing my flute, you know, the basic stuff. And alright, here we are in mine number three area, and there's already somebody waiting for us, it looks like. A fight? Oh, the yeah. tunnel walls should have been stabilized. What happened? Hey, look over there. It's collapsed. Oh no, the damn crabs. Ah, we got monsters. They must have been living in a place with elevated ether concentration, then found their way in here. We better get there quick. But there's no direct path there. We'll have to go around. You've got lebnuses, don't you? Wanted to make short work of these things. But we need permission from each squad's leader to activate a lebnus. What? Oh, come the snap on. This is an emergency. You stay here on standby. There might be another clap, so we'll go on alone. But Commander! Execute a partial evacuation once the tunnel mouth is secured. Coordinate with the medic court and treat any wounded. Now, these are special orders for which I take full accountability. Inform the other troops. Yes, sir. Now, all of you. We'll be fine, Commander. You can count on us. Understood. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. No, we don't worry, Commander. Like, we're super probably over-leveled for this, First so off, we're fine. We'll need to find a way up. Alright. Because I think I came in here just doing scouting, and I saw up there. I wondered, how the hell do I get up there? I guess maybe now we can go in that elevator? But that elevator goes all the way to the top. I mean, I don't really see another way. I mean... I mean, we'll go with that elevator and see. Also, we're on this other side, where we had a right. quote-unquote run away from all those dudes, where we actually killed them instead. <laughs> but now that we can push this, we can open up a way down and a way over. So that's always good. Alright. Thing with this is yeah I guess we're just gonna take this elevator I would assume because how the hell else are we gonna get over there let's just sneak a peek especially if we're just fighting crab people we should be totally fine yeah we have to get over there somehow I mean it, we'd have to jump I mean there's the elevator but I mean unless he's finally gonna teach us somebody's gonna teach us how to do like the zip line that's really the only thing and boy if we get that zip Let's line that elevator. there is a lot of backtracking a lot of places that require you we to have a zip line to get up above. 
Let's like, use this to get you know, ahead. I know of a few places that having the zip line to get places will get us a lot of containers, some loot, get into some unique monsters. Also, I just want to mention the unique monsters, all the low level ones we've been taking care of. I mean, they're mostly just sponges, and at the end you I get a bunch of materials. Maybe some of the major, like, super bosses will show off once we get to the end. But a lot of, like, the unique creatures, eh, nothing too crazy. Just know that I've defeated most of them. And again, most of the time they're all, you know, just sponges. Like it? What? This dressful sport pod messing with me? Are you kidding me? Alright, I mean, if he wants to mess with me, have at it. I mean, especially now that we have a healer in the party and we have a bunch of attackers between me, Mio, and Senna, it's fine. Yeah, no, I'm not afraid of these little crabs. Like I said, we're at a high enough level now that most little creatures aren't going to do much to us. Which is good, because then, you know, we can get through some episodes relatively quickly. So, obviously, we have to find our way around. So something tells me we're going to go back into the mine, get to a certain spot, and then he's going to show us how to zip line. I would imagine, because we're backtracking at this point. Not really even too sure if we're even going the right way, but where else can we go? I also don't remember this cave being, like, this pretty looking. With all like the crazy stones and whatnot. Also, I'm pretty sure a lot of these dudes are supposed to be attacking you, but again, we're like 10 levels above them. I think only these crabs are actually story related that would actually mess with us, probably. Which is fine, they're just crabs. They would just melt to our mighty power. And at this point, we have a bunch of good gems. We're getting to be maxed out on a lot of classes. I'm starting to get worried on that front because I really hope that we get to the point where it's like, oh, you can now get up to your classes up to like level 20. Because we really need to start doing that. Because <laughs> we've been on level 10 with most of our classes for a while. Like even some classes that they don't really specialize in, like I'm getting everything up to level 10. That just shows how much I enjoy the combat and whatnot. Alright, so, yep, yep, I already know what we're doing. He's going to teach us the zip line, which is great. And again, we're getting all this XP, which the sooner we get into probably level 41, 42, opens up a lot of doors. And from the benefit of me, you know, dragging my feet with this series is, um, pretty much you get to the point in the story where you're going to have to go back and, spoiler alert, uh, save all the colonies which isn't too surprising it'd be kind of interesting if the game did the whole well you didn't liberate any colonies so the final boss would be super impossible but i haven't really seen like any challenge runs of that so i don't think that's a thing i think the game just literally says hey it's time to go back and uh defeat all these colonies and get all these heroes dude which you know it's fine also, I'm starting to feel like I was here before, but obviously I'm not because there's all these other containers and stuff I missed. Weird. But again, this game has so much content. Between all the different areas, um, all the different beastie boys you can do. I mean, I'm, I'm like level 37, and we're only in chapter 4, and I'm not really looking to um, go through this game that fast. Like, I enjoy going through all the different areas, finding different loot. The battle system is really fun. I started getting some of those Ouroboros uh, chain attacks to start popping. And if you ask me how I did that, I have no idea, to be honest. It just sort of happened. Alright, so we are kind of backtracking. Alright, so yeah, he's going to teach us how to zip line. Good. At least that's what it seems like. So we're going to go over to that elevator. I'm assuming this is supposed to be a part of the uh, main thing because we're going to have to fight a bunch of these spiders. So. It's night time already. Which it's fine. Combat is fun. These dudes aren't that high level so they should melt really easily. Like look at this queen guy. Hello queen. You're like 25 and I feel like taking you out. Might as well. 
And it's kind of funny because this isn't even a unique like queen or anything. It's playing the really dramatic music, but you know. I'm also getting uh, Mio's like saber strike really fast anymore. <laughs> Also, you drones are doing a terrible job of protecting your queen. Just just saying. <laughs> your queen's getting bopped. Getting absolutely bopped. And there goes the queen. Oh, I thought he was running away. That's funny. Man, I could probably just beat this guy myself. And just mentioning... Okay, yep. And we killed a bunch of dudes. And just mentioning all the content. Sometimes I forget that you can upgrade the Ouroboros. <laughs> I get so many SP points and so many like different things for that. And I forget that's a thing. And then I go look at the menu. I'm like, oh man, I'm like way behind with Ouroboros. I don't really use it that often. I kind of just hit it as like a main boss kind of thing. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Because that's what you're only supposed to use it for. Is for like main bosses and stuff. See you guys. I'm I'm going down the elevator. Is up. Oh, yep. Everyone's got to teleport to me. We're going the right way, right? Oh yeah, we are. Here we are. Let me get this first. And oh, we got to push a boulder. Oh, lovely. Okay. Also, if you haven't noticed, I've been using a lot of the DLC costumes instead of, like, the class costumes. I don't know, I just felt like seeing them, getting used to them. Gotta get my $30 worth, I guess. Can anyone hear me? We're here to help! Commander! We're safe! No casualties here! Looks like there weren't too many working this deep inside. I'm glad everyone's unharmed. I didn't think there'd be a cave in here, considering the geology, and with this level of structural support. I suppose the cave wall was weak enough for the monsters lurking there to break through. When the excavation uncovered an area of concentrated deposits, the monsters that lived there must have sensed the chance. The ether find is good news, but for now, let's get everyone out. There might be more monsters. You better keep an eye out. Noted. We're close All to right. the side of the cave in. Let's pick up the pace. And we're just yes, fighting monsters, I guess. Which is fine. Nothing too crazy with that. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Here's all the crap people. Are you guys Here just going to straight up attack us in mine number two? Well, we've been yep. They've been absorbing the ether. Stand your guard. No. Yo, I was going to say, can we... What one am I targeting? Weird. I guess this one. No, we're fine. Damn. I mean, I guess this is a hero quest, so I mean, this isn't surprising. Oh, I should probably hang back by him. Ooh. Yeah, stay in here. Oh, I died. Jesus, these guys are tough. Alright, come on, guys. We're getting bodied by freaking scorpions. Do they give the scorpions some, like, some huge old powers or something? Alright. I mean, we didn't need to, but, you know, might as well just hit the Ouroboros button. Fine. Also, with the Ouroboros, you probably shouldn't be doing it without a level. I have to find a way to see how you get the levels up for that faster. Because technically you're not supposed to use it unless you're higher level. I'll use the chain attack on the last guy. Oh man, I don't want to kill both of them at the same time. Which one's going to die first? Maybe this one? There we go, chain attack. Late time's over. Hopefully we can get uh, Izzard's special attack up. War of Attrition. There we go. I want him to get some highlights. That's 40 at the start. Guarantee a Bravo rating when a hero completes an order. Damn. All right. Field regeneration. Area heal on pit. 
That is monster. All right, final blowdown. That is already an overkill. <laughs> All right, let's see his special attack. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, he gets a reactivation? Absolutely. I don't know if this is his, like, actual final boss, but whatever. Might as well keep getting that XP bonus up as we can. Power charge and critical hit. And here comes Noah. Brave Assault. I know this is overkill, but hey, look at that XP bonus. That's what we're looking for, especially a lot of these story missions. Get all these dudes up as much as possible. Only because I want our dudes healed in case something else attacks us. That did 10,000 damage right there. That is ridiculous. Here we heal. Aw, oh, point limit, come on. Working on Tyon with the Medic Gunner. Point limit again, come on. Breakthrough, let's do it, there we go. Shoot him up. Damn, we just keep on going, that's fine. Bombshell Blitz. Power Charge on hit. That is a lot of damage. There we go. And that should be, yep, that's good enough to get this one going too. Keep getting that XP bonus up. Can we get the 800? Yes we can. That's a lot of damage! Look somewhat cleaned up. I guess riding a leftness meant they avoided any serious injuries. A little silver lining to a great big cloud. Glad to hear. Tyon? No, all of you. Thanks for your assistance. You saved us. On the contrary, Commander. We were just following your orders. Right. We could only react so fast thanks to your quick thinking. That's about as much as I can do. The people of Colony Lambda, and you as well, all knew what needed to be done. And due to that, the rescue was a success. I can't thank you enough. You've even managed to secure a nearby ether deposit. I'm a bit jealous. Yes. Actually, our troops reported a harvestable ether source recently. And with enough resources in the bank, perhaps the colony could have some peace of mind. I hear a fair few colonies are lacking ether. Everyone knows that we're nothing without it. Everyone in Lambda knows to be prepared to do anything in their power rather than lose it. By the way, how are your travels? Our... Uh, travels? Pretty good. We've been all over the place, we're probably super over-leveled, we're finding all the resources we need. Pretty good. Sometimes I'm envious of folk like you. Strong-willed and forging ahead. Well, we're not that. Actually, I think being a commander is a pretty big deal in its own way, eh? Yeah. Smoldering Kamaravi and the famed Silvercoat certainly are. But I'm not that kind of lone pioneering type. I think most people feel the same. I know my own weakness best of anyone. The day we lost Nimue and Yu Tion, I abandoned all thought. The Consul sensed my weakness, knew I'd pass my responsibility to another, and took merciless advantage of it. Oh. That's one thing I learned from losing. Ironically, if I hadn't experienced that loss, I... I'd never have come to understand this feeling in me. Sorry, no one needs to hear all that. Ah, yes. I owe you all, don't I? Would you come to the commander's office later? Sure. I'll be waiting. Does that mean we have to go all the way back there just to wrap this up? Oh, yes, we do. All right, yes, so I guess ether? we get all the ether deposits. Might as well steal all that. 
This will pretty much get us all of our ether back that we needed for that uh, hulking Piranus in the desert. Yeah, and you're probably wondering, how do you have so much ether? Yeah, again, I just like walking around, making sure we collect everything, playing my flute for all the fallen soldiers, all that fun stuff. Alright, it says there's another one, but I guess it's above us somewhere? I was really hoping he was going to be the one to teach us the zip line, but I guess not. Alright, and if there's anything, well, if there's nothing else, I'm just going to look around the mine for a little bit, and I'll meet you back in uh, Commander Izzard's office. Alright, we've made it back to Colony Lambda. Ooh, there's more people to talk to. Hello. Huzumi. Colony Lambda seems to be in considerably in a considerable flurry. True enough, with Ither as commander, we're not too worried. Lambda's a lot stronger now, thanks to the commander, and I'm sure he'll go stronger well, still. Me, friends. Yes, we did. Any more people pop up? Or, you know, maybe because the change of the day is what did it? Oh, we have to talk that dude to get their, their uh, cafeteria back in order, but here we are back at the tent. God, I don't know why we just didn't complete it there, but, you know. Ooh, there's another person over there I have to talk to. First, let's head in and complete the quest. So, I wanted to thank you all somehow. We didn't lend a hand just so you'd give us something in return. Too right. We don't expect any thanks. That may be so, but... Oh, yeah. Did the thing with the autolevs get sorted out? I only just got a report saying they don't know why they won't work. After seeing that cave-in, I want to investigate thoroughly. An autolev is vital for that investigation. If we can't bring them back here, they can't be of any use to us. Here it comes. I'm not planning on getting you involved for every little thing. I already can't thank you enough for your help with the cave-in. Excuse me, Commander. I have a report about the autonomous levnesses. Any new developments? Yes, sir. It seems they're operational. I see. They wanted you to take a look and judge if they can be used or not, sir. Roger that. Well, I'm sorry for bringing you all out here. I have to go. I'd like to come along. What do you mean? Oh, good call. I need some closure on this. We won't get in the way. Is that okay? As you wish. Then follow me. We don't exactly have what I'd call an open schedule. Sorry, I know this is selfish. Nah, mate, I don't blame you. I may owe Commander Izzard a great debt, but he's also someone I just want to help, even if I didn't owe him. I think every soldier in Lambda probably feels the same. It sounds nice, doesn't it? Feeling an attachment to your colony, to your commander. Yeah, definitely. <gasps> Uh-oh. What happened? Hey, is everything okay? Commander, the Levnesses, they started moving all of a sudden. What? And then they just came for us. But any autonomous unit should have safeguards to stop it attacking us. Guess not, because Lambda Soldier B's in some hot water. That came from <laughs> right up ahead. Huh, lucky thing we tagged along, eh? Please stay back, Commander. We can take it. What are you saying, man? I'm fighting. It'd be a lousy example for the troops if I just stood around and stared. Plus, he's a very good healer, so come on, go. Tyon. We have a lot of attackers, and he's a major healer, so let's do it. How many we got? Ooh. Oh, damn, we got two, and they're level 29? Bro. Look out. All right, are we ready for this? I don't know. We're going to find out. I mean, yeah, we are higher level, but... All right, now we're doing a lot of damage. Um, let's just focus on attacking, do not use any Ouroboros. Damn, this thing's using like Hyper Beam. We got some problems. Alright. Just make sure we uh, take one down at a time. Hopefully Izzer can keep my squad up. I'm really the only one taking a lot of damage. Like I said, if we can just focus one down at a time, that would be the best thing to do.
Armadillo, they're called. All right. All right, we got one halfway down. And at least they did a... Oh, Izzard's dead? What the hell, dude? You're supposed to be our healer. Why are you getting destroyed? All right, so we're about to destroy at least one of them, so that's fine. Because once we take one down, this battle should be over. There we go. We got topple. We launch them. All right. And we got a chain attack. So we're good. All right. We've got Dicey there. Izzard got himself killed, but I think we're good now. There we go. And now it's basically 1v7, so we should be fine. And once we get him low enough, we can end it with the chain attack. There we go. Alright, it's a little dicey, so if you come here under level, that's probably a tough fight. But we've prepared, we're all good. We're, we got the best, I think the accessories at least that I could find this early in the game, because I've been all over the place. Obviously I'm not super pro at Xenoblade, but I know my way around stuff. He's not really doing too much, but it's fine. Once we get him a little bit lower, we can get the chain attack going. We can probably get it going now. Alright, yeah, he's dead. It's Ouroboros. And chain attack. I don't know if that matters to make sure to have Ouroboros attacked up, but yeah, it's fine. On me. Guarantee Bravo, absolutely. Physical defense down. There we go. Get that physical defense down. That is a very good ability to have. Oh, we're on the side? Are we on the side? I don't know if it matters, but... There we go. 101, Brave Assault. Oh, boy. Hold on, we need to get that at overkill. Reactivation. Reduce attacker and healer, aggro, reduce enemies, keep defense. Final lowdown, overkill. There we go. Alright, power charge on here. 109. Beyond Primed. Can we get Izzard's special ability? Yes, we can. Oh, nope, not yet. But he's reactivated, though. Physical defense. Get down. I don't know if that's got, like, a time limit on it, but... Go. Oh, 98, come on. Get everybody back up to full health. Ah, oh, point limit, come on. Oh, breakthrough. Come on, get one more. There we go. Lightning quick. 400 times XP? There we go. There we go. There's our Ouroboros activation, and we might just be able to get it. Limited Unbound. Let's get his physical defense down. And that should be just well enough. Final Blowdown. There we go. And with his physical defense down, Limits Unbound. Let's do it. All the damage in the world. That was 9,500 just right there. We're just doing all the damage. Ouroboros, take him out.
Oh, that's one way to take him out. Oh, this is tough. The belly but a dent in it. Concentrate on their power sources. Where are they? Finish it up now. Tie on. Right. Look out. Commander Izzard! It's over. Feels like all I do is ask you to clean up our messes. No Thanks worries. Thanks again. If there's anything I can do. But why did they go berserk? It might have been set so they couldn't tell between friend and foe once restarted. You think so? So you're saying that forcing them to restart overwrote the previous instructions? Oh, man. I'll have engineering give me the details. We need them in running order, but they can be dangerous tools, so care is paramount. Regardless, let me know if there's any way I can thank you. We told you before, we didn't do this for any reward. You won't fly. I can't rest easy knowing I'm this deep in someone else's debt. If you're going to insist... Do we need anything, guys? Yeah, we need his cool healing class. Uh, let me think. Alright, I've got something. Whatever it is, just say the word. We've put you out of your way. I want you to fight by our side once more. Say that again. I want you to see for yourself that the path I'm walking is the right one, Commander. Tyon, has this been bothering you? I understand. My position as commander means I probably won't be able to accompany you at all times. But I pledge myself and Colony Lambda to you, Tyon. No, to all of you. Call me anytime you need me. I'll come running no matter what. Thank you very much, Commander. I better brush up on my skills to keep up with you all. Colony Lambda will have to keep up with its current developments, too. We can help you with stuff like that, mate. Now look here, I can't ask that of you. Look, we're friends Sure now. you can, that's what we do. Nothing wrong with asking your friends for help. Huh. <laughs> we're friends, you say. You're incredibly trusting, you know that. What's that supposed to mean? We're just helping. I don't mean anything bad by it. If I need you, I'll ask for you. Please, call us anytime you need. I'm a lucky man to have friends like you, Tyon. And with that, hero quest completed, unwavering resolve, first a cave-in, then auto lev gone berserk, as thanks for res resolving both issues and protecting Lambda, Izzard accepts Tyon's request to join the party. So who gets it first? I will endeavor to assist you. I would hopefully, he's a strategicos, and I hope that's Tyon. Yep, of course. I would hope so, Tyon gets to be him. Class Strategio, Roll Healer, possesses arts that heal allies and weaken enemies, a highly versatile class with many arts up its thieves. 
which is very good because let's slap that immediately on Tyon. <laughs> he doesn't need to worry about Valdi's skill anymore. Where's he at? There we go. Make him the master strategist. And let's put his clothing back on. Yeah, look at Tyon. He's got his official uniform on. Look at that. All right. And with that, 400. What is that? Is that going to show up? No. What's the status right now of Colony Lambda? Affinity chart. That's Colony 10. Where's Lambda? That's Sigma. There's Gamma. We need to head over to there. Where is it? Where are we at? Oh, over here. Oh, we're almost to level 2. And pretty much we'll do a bunch of the side quests. And I hope you join me for that in the next episode. I know that was a lot. I didn't know Commander Izzards would have a very long hero quest, even though I said we have to go back and help Mio's Colony Gamma, and I think we'll do that in the next episode as well, as uh, get into a bunch of other heroes that we've unlocked and yet to help them out. And I hope you join me for that. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those yes, things on down boss. below. But until next time, I have been Adam, this has been HMO4 Gaming, and this has been Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.